All right, I just picked up these two Yamaha Enticer 340 snowmobiles. They are from the early 80s, and I just, I really like the look of them. I think they're pretty cool. I like they're nice and small. So I want to get them both going and running. All right, so I just went to buy these, and the guy had five of them there. And um, he was asking kind of like $500 each on them. But, so I rode the, th this one here runs. And I rode that one around, but it wasn't quite running perfect, and um, you know it's a little rough. But I said I don't think this is quite a $500 snowmobile. I'm like, how about $350? So he's like, well, if you got five on you, I'll, I'll throw in this one here too. And he said, this one needs a crank seal. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. So I figured that was a good deal. All right, I'll just show you how this thing runs now before I do anything to it. All right, so on the enticer here that runs, it needs a few more repairs though. The, the one of the skis broke on me yesterday, so I just welded some rebar on it to weld that back together. But I noticed the suspension. The suspension has an issue. It, it bottoms out way too easy. Look, if I just stand on it. See, I mean, it's pretty much bottomed out with just my weight on it. So let me try to fix that. And underneath, this section here is rusted out. And when I was riding it the other day, I hit a stump or something, and it hit this and caught and bent that back and then messed up the steering. So I gotta, let me try to fix that.
All right, so the attempt to stiffen up the suspension, I see at least one spring adjustment here. So I'm gonna put this thing, and the, there's three holes here, it's in the middle, I'm gonna put it in the highest hole and then flip it over so the spring is tighter. All right, so I just gotta do that to the suspension on the other side. So I finished up on that bottom plate. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And I did a little welding on that ski and that carbide was broken off there, so I welded that as well. Yeah, that's a lot better. I've got this snowmobile here pretty much ready to ride. The only other thing I want to do to it is the seat cover. I got that ordered, but I didn't get it yet. But I'm going to bring this out today and see how it does. And this one should be next. I'm doing a bunch of work to that one. It needs a track and a bunch of other little miscellaneous work. And this one here, this one's actually in pretty good shape. But the motor supposedly needs crank seals, so I got those parts ordered too, so I want to try to fix that one as well. So uh, let's bring this one out now and see how it does.